Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can import animations to use on your Reillusion characters in Unreal Engine. We'll look at things like importing multiple motions, as well as retargeting the animations for characters with different body proportions. You can find the basic workflow for single characters and animations in the Getting Started tutorial. Generally, you'll just go through the simple steps of applying an animation to your character and exporting it via the file menu. However, here we're going to take a look at exporting an entire library of animations with the character, so let's start by right-clicking on one of the motions in our folder and selecting Find File to view them in Explorer. From there, I'll open up the Perform List Editor from the timeline, click Add, and multi-select all of the motions we're going to export. In the Export FBX panel, we can now select Custom and Load Perform. To include more motions, we can also click on Open and multi-select additional motions as well. As with all exports to Unreal, be sure to select First Frame in Bind Pose before export. Because we chose Mesh and Motion from our export mode, it will all be combined into a single FBX. Now in Unreal, import the FBX to the desired folder in your content drawer, being sure to check Use T0 as reference pose and import animations with exported time selected for the import options. You'll now see the folder populate with our multiple animation sequences which you can feel free to test out to view the mesmerizing dances of Bob here. Next, we want to generate a dedicated CC control rig, so let's right-click on the skeletal mesh and select Create CC Control Rig. Be aware that you need to have the plugin installed for this option to appear. From there, drag the CC rig blueprint into the scene and get your lighting and position set, then go up and add a new level sequence. Add the CC Rig BP track and delete any other unnecessary tracks, then click on the plus button on the CC Rig BP track to add an animation. Adjust the active area of the timeline to cut out the beginning transition frames, then go ahead and right click on the blueprint track, uncheck filter assets by skeleton, then bake it to CR CC body. This will present the control rig and generate some keyframes that we can use for editing. Okay, cool, so what if we want to tag on some additional motions like this depressed walk? In this case, the workflow is the same, but the export options are slightly different. Naturally, the target tool preset needs to be Unreal, but this time we'll just choose Motion from the FBX Options dropdown. Choose the current animation and save it to a dedicated folder. When bringing it into Unreal, we don't need to re-import the mesh, so disable that option, but be sure to select the skeleton of Bob that we just imported. Here's our imported animation sequence, which we can import into a new level sequence the way that we just did with the previous example. Only this one's a lot shorter, as it's a simple walking loop. Okay, so what if we have a library of motions in Unreal that we want to apply to our Reillusion character? Let's run through that process using this mocap motion bundle from the Unreal Marketplace. After adding it to your project, you'll find the motions in the content drawer. Here you can see a number of energetic animations that are suitable for Bob's eccentric personality. Let's start by copying these over to Bob's main folder. Because all of these motions use the standard UE skeleton, we only need to right-click them and select Replace Skeleton, choosing the Big Bob skeleton we imported earlier. There are no further steps required in this case, because when we defined Unreal as our target tool preset in Character Creator Export FBX options, the bones of our rig were renamed to conform to that of the standard UE skeleton. 
Now you'll see Bob's mesh appear in the thumbnail and you can preview the animated results. Again, we can create a new level sequence and go through the previous steps to bake the animation to our CC controller for further editing. Okay, lastly, let's look at the retargeting, which is needed when we want to apply an animation to a character with significantly different body proportions, such as limbs, which are too long or short. We have a video covering this in our Reelers and Courses page and YouTube channel, which also covers applying animations from additional external sources. As you can see, there are quite a few steps to this process. However, if you first import these external motions into Character Creator, the retargeting process is much simpler. Let's use a Mixima motion as an example here. We'll first need to ensure that we download a T-Pose as the default reference pose before downloading our preferred animation. The Mixima dummy's proportions are quite a bit different from Bob's, which won't present a problem with the automatic retargeting in Character Creator. When we import in the animation, we'll also have the option to add in the T-Pose as our reference. After clicking Convert All, you'll see the animation will be automatically retargeted to our Relusion character Bob. There is no need for additional bone mapping like in Unreal. The motion will also be saved under the external motions folder of the custom panel in the content manager. We can then apply this motion to any other Relusion character with accurate results, despite differing proportions. This workflow saves a ton of time, therefore it's something to consider when bringing your Relusion characters into Unreal. Check out our Relusion Courses page for further detailed tutorials on this production pipeline workflow. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.